guys do you think friendship is by force eh? so Olo Rikalabash want to uh, uh, force friendship back to Queen Naomi but when Queen Naomi gave her the hands of friendship she messed it up see friendship is not by force especially when it is coming from a betrayer my pe my people this information about uh, Olori Kalabash disturbing Queen Naomi every now and then in Akure, I don't like it though. It's high time KBS to do something about it before Queen Naomi will lose it one day and do something that everyone will blame her for. Right now that she, they are disturbing Queen Naomi, giving her a, 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 a sleepless night, disturbing her every now and then, embarrassing her because this one is an embarrassment on her personality. They will not see it. The day she will lose it now and take certain action, people will say, eh, she, I thought she said she's a prophetess. She's this, she's that. Why can't she hold her temper and all of that? Hmm. There is limit to uh, what everyone would take. Oh, Kabiesi and her family and his family should do something about uh, this uh, Olori Kalabashi them and their visit to Akure because it is getting out of hand. Hmm. Anyway, guys, before we proceed, you're welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the Palace of Oni of Ife. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, <laughs> kindly subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget that they are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. So, allegedly, they said, uh, Olori Kalabash went to Akure again. After the last one, they say she went there to attack Quenomi spiritually, but Quenomi gave it to her, wotu, wotu, and she was ashamed of herself such that they say she left in shame. So, right now, they say she went there. There was this uh, house service that Quenomi is attending during this period, and they said all this uh, home to home service and all of that. So, she was preparing to go on one of them only for her to come outside and discover that there was this flash car. That was parked uh, around her vicinity, not directly to in, in front of her house, but they said the car, if you check very well, you find out that that uh, car is is either someone that is around parked it or maybe there is something. So they said Penomi did not bother herself; she was just uh, going out with her own car to the house where she was going for the service, and they said they noticed that uh, the car started monitoring them following them you know and because the car that Quenomi went out with is not a uh, tinted one they said they were able to monitor these people with the the mirror you know and they noticed that they were following them yet they did nothing about it when they entered the house that they were going to uh, do the service they said they noticed that the car did not, uh, was not following them again. Maybe they missed their way or maybe they have diverted. But something keep telling Quenomi that this guy is up to something, you know? And when she was in that place that she went to do the service stuff, they said they were praying. They were seriously praying. Pray, you know, her. Only for Olori Kalabash to appear there. How she entered, they don't know. But Quenomi assumed that maybe she was the one in that car that was following them then they were praying you know the next thing she tapped queen naomi uh, on on her shoulder that she want to speak with her and queen naomi said she ignored her keep praying then before you know it again she tapped her again that they are going to settle it here once and for all that it is high time she give her audience that she is keeping her so quiet and she doesn't like it any longer yay and i said is it by force see this is why I said that KBSC should do something about it. Because if this information is true, it simply means that they are out there to embarrass Queen Naomi because it's an embarrassment trying to stop her prayers. You know, to talk what? Talk what? They said Queen Naomi was trying to hold herself. She was trying to hold herself. Then when she tapped her the third one, Queen Naomi was like, what is your problem? What is your problem? Where are you sent to me? What is your mission? They said, uh, by that reason, they were able to end that prayer anyhow, anyhow. Because you know when there is so much distraction, things of the prayer is something that you need to concentrate and be focused in order to communicate with, uh, in order to be uh, to be communicating with the Holy Spirit. But when you are distracted, it's always a problem. So they said the way they ended that prayer, it wasn't what we normally planned. But because of that distraction from this uh, Olori Kalabash, who doesn't understand what it means to be praying, you know, they said. 
At that point, when Naomi stopped the prayer and was asking her, what is her problem? What is she? That she doesn't want to talk with her. She doesn't want to talk with her. That friendship is not by force. And she will not force words out of her mouth. That they have chased her out of the palace. That she have chased her because it was her. From the story, from what we heard, it was her directly that ensured they used her directly or she used herself directly to push Quinomi out of the palace. And now they say Quinomi told her, what then is your problem? You, take, uh, you took KBAC away. Why can't you be able to talk to your husband, someone you called your husband, and every little thing you run to me to come and talk to your husband? Who then am I? Eh? I thought I am a classless lady who doesn't deserve Kabiesi. You guys that deserve Kabiesi should go back to Kabiesi and talk to Kabiesi. When you have problem, go to him. He's your husband. Stop disturbing me. So they said she, he was still in, she was still insisting. And they said we almost slapped her. If not for the people who were there, who told her that, uh, who was trying to tell her that they're not, it's okay, it's okay, let her be. She's just an agent of darkness and all of that. They said we know me nearly gave it woto woto to her. And I said sometimes, eh, see, let me tell you. They said the kingdom of God suffered violent and only the violent take it by force. Sometimes we know me need to release that anger on them. Let them see how it feels. I believe with that, they will not try to come closer again. Because this is getting out of hand. If all of this information we are hearing is true, they need to... Uh, uh, KBC need to do something serious about it because Renomi might not be able to hold herself the next day, the next time. Because one thing about them is that they are not giving up. They are not giving up. And the, the only reason she's coming to Renomi right now is because KBC have insisted that she leaves the palace. Then they said she was pleading with Renomi that uh, it would be unfair for KBC to treat her out of a place she have called home. That she have been in that palace long enough. To see her, to see there as her home, that throwing her out now will be a shame fourteen onto her. Mm. So it's a shame fourteen if you leave the palace, but it's not a shame fourteen for you to walk with Naomi, uh, uh, drag with Naomi out of her matrimonial home. Hmm. Nah, now wow, a brozon yon zodi ke bukongo. That is it. They said she was begging with Naomi. <laughs> Hey, when I hear this information, I said, these women should go and rest. One day now, one day, one day, Kingdomi will be under the uh, control of the Holy Spirit and he will hit them to the point that they will either become imbecile <laughs> or something that they will regret for the rest of their life. Anyway, guys, I don't know what to say, but all I can say is that these people, they need to go and buy sense if they have lost their own. Thanks for watching. No, don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? I do not live in the palace. Always bear that in mind. Please subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and tell me what you think about the video. Like I will always tell you, they are all alleged information, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye. Love you guys.